Hey everyone, in this video, I'll be doing a review on the Innisfree Fruity Squeeze Tint. I unfortunately only have 8 out of the 9 because number 9 was really popular and was sold out everywhere. Basically, with this tint, it's supposed to be moisturizing on the lips, supposed to give you a clear and vivid color texture to your lips with very high gloss. It also contains ingredients that help to plump your lips as well as feeling it looking all volumized and it has like this shine coating system to make your lips very moisturizing on the lips and also on the surface and with this one it has like a strong hint of grapefruit smell when you apply but does fade off after for this application it is much more better to apply as a gradation lip rather than a fuller lip because it glides on really easily but it's, if you put it on as a fuller lip it does not give you an even finish on the top but again you can and the gloss does um, disappear quite fast in regards of the longevity and only lasts about three hours or until you eat and then the inner part of the gloss will actually disappear or the color will disappear so let's get started with the first color and it's called number one fake and for me i call this like a strawberry red color but leaning towards a little bit of obviously the bright side i like how it matches to the model itself which is great Next, number two is called Apple, and for me, compare this with number one fake. This is much more red, it's much more darker, and it's much more warm as well on my lips. I like the tint of this, and did I mention that with this tint, it doesn't show any of my dry patches at all, which is great. Next is number three called Jujube, and honestly, guys, I love anything to do with purple, so I definitely love this color. I also love that this is a warm purpley shade, which is beautiful for any cold night or you know winter days, or you know just this is beautiful colors, and I love how it complements my skin. Next is number four peach, and obviously this does not look like peach color. This is definitely like a very bright pink, and it does give you a little bit of a stain as well after wearing it for a certain amount of time. I still like it though and it's obviously different from the model itself. Next color is number 5 which is another purple shade which I absolutely love and this one I felt it was much more brighter. So for me this I call this more like a great purpley shade. Definitely love this on my lips. I love the turnout of this and you can see as a full lip it's much more darker as well and love that it matches to the model. Next shade is number 6, strawberry. So again with this one, does not look like strawberry color. It looks more like a fuchsia pink. It's much more corally, definitely much more lighter pink. Definitely looks a little bit pale on my lips, but it still complements my skin as well. Does look nice, but obviously different from the model, which I absolutely don't mind at all. Next is called number 7, Apricot. And for me, I love this color because I felt like not only because it's coral, but because it's like a warm corally shade, if you know what I mean, and also it's like orange with a little bit of that red undertone to it as well. Definitely look different from the model, but it's okay. Last color is number eight, orange, and this one is obviously another orange shade, but I feel like this one is much more brighter, and you can see a little bit more of that orange side to it, especially applied on the lips, so definitely looks like a carrot orange for me. So overall, I'm really happy with the color ranges. I think I think number 9 is also another orange shade, so I don't mind no, I'm missing out on it, it's okay. I'm very satisfied with all of the colors that I got. You can see that it's stained on my wrist, but again, it doesn't really stain that much on the lips, which I absolutely don't mind. Like I said before, with the longevity, it doesn't last as long. Until you start eating or drinking, it starts fading off on the inside of your lip, but in regards of the staining, it's not that strong, so it's okay. I love the colors turn out, but the reason why I give such a low rating is because it doesn't match to the model but again i'm happy with the outcome on my lips i love how moisturizing it is and when i look back at the price it's actually really affordable as well so i'll put the link down below where i got it from but i hope you guys enjoyed this this is definitely great for those who are looking for something really lightweight on your lips you want a little bit of color but you don't want to wear lipstick this is perfect for you because this is great for those who have dry skin but longevity wise it's not long lasting the gloss does disappear quite fast as well so yeah, you just have to keep that in mind. But again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye guys.